What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Dustin, this is Revere Glass, and today we're talking about Valentine's Day. All right, so today I got inspired by uh, that hug pendant, I don't know, it's on my Instagram feed. And so I was uh, inspired by it to make one for you guys so that you could, you could, you know, have something to make for someone you care about or whatever you want. But here's the pendant, you can see it's kinetic, it moves around a little bit. Super interesting idea, I hope you enjoy it and uh, that's what we're gonna be making today. I wanted to give you guys an update for the online school. There's been a lot of great things happening there from all the workshops coming up like Lazy Glass, Alderson Glass, and not only those workshops, but we've completed the pipe making courses, which are self-paced courses that uh, you can work on your own and go through different steps and stages and videos and really hone your skills with the fundamentals of glass blowing. You guys should definitely check that out. And if you're planning to go to workshops or maybe a couple of workshops in the year, you might wanna consider the new annual pass, which will give you access to everything across the site, all workshops, all lessons, all courses for the whole year. So please check that out, www.revereglass.com. If you just wanna try it out for free, there's a seven day free trial. See if you like it, you can cancel anytime. I wanted to invite you to a couple of workshops that I'm gonna be teaching here in Berkeley at the Berkeley Oasis, which is a beautiful site for exploring art and creativity. So in March, I'm gonna be teaching a class called Marini Madness, which goes over all of the millefiori techniques used in borosilicate to make those little images and pictures. It's a technique that's achievable on a lot of different skill levels, so feel free to send us a DM, see if there's any space left for that spot, and I'd love to see you there. In June, I'm gonna be teaching another class here, which is about silversmithing, goldsmithing, and also incorporating glass. So it's gonna be the first workshop where I'm teaching the combination of the two mediums. And we're gonna be making something in the glass studio and then making something in the jewelry studio to hold that and make some wearables. Please check out those workshops. They're available to sign up at revereglass.com. I would love to see you here in Berkeley at the Berkeley Oasis. I wanted to thank our sponsor, Mountain Glass Arts. They've been a longtime supporter of the glass industry, really helped getting this industry off the ground and progress from just a couple of people in their garages to a worldwide phenomenon. So I really wanted to thank Mountain Glass Arts. Recommend that if you wanna get into glass blowing, go ahead and give them a call. Let them know that you saw this in a Revere Glass video and they'll even give you a little bit of a discount. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. We have a super cool video coming out next week and we've been working really hard to make a bunch of cool new content for you guys. So let us know in the comments what you think of this video, what you're gonna do for Valentine's Day, and uh, I'll see you next week. Happy Valentine's Day again, everybody. Today we are going to be working on this hug pendant and I'm gonna be using two colors. The first one is pink Cadillac from Troutman. And the second color that I'm gonna use is ketchup from Glass Alchemy. All right, so now I'm gonna heat up this ball of glass because I'm making two tiny figures. Um, if you wanna see how to do this uh, on a larger scale, you're welcome to check out one of the very first videos that, that I put up uh, where I sculpt a figure as well. So you're welcome to refer back to that as you if you want but I'm doing the same steps just on a very small scale. So the first thing I'm going to do is heat this up and make a, um, like a, a triangle, kind of like a tapered edge on it. And then I'm going to grab each side and pull it out and make kind of a, instead of a, a cone, more, more of a triangle. So now I'm using my paddle to kind of get that into shape. And this is going to be the chest of the female in this pendant. Another thing you could do is you could grab it with your tweezers. If you have a very small tip on your tweezers, you can do that as well. Uh, or you can use a, a small glass rod to help you shape it. Uh, in this case, I'm just using the tweezers to move the glass around a little bit and try to make that a nice and an even shape. Once I have the chest made, I'm going to squeeze where I'm gonna make that neck and then use the tips of my tweezers to go in and make the collarbone. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is pull out a stringer. This is kind of a thicker stringer, and I'm gonna use this to do some of the detail work and the accents on the figure. So I'll use it first to start with the breasts, and then I'm gonna use it for the head and also for the buttocks. So now I'm going to use as little glass as I need to and just continue to add 
because I want to make sure that everything is proportional. So I'm going to heat that up. And as it gets hot, I'm kind of gauging how much glass I'm putting on and thinking about the proportion of the head. And that's how much glass I'm leaving. So, you, so that's one of the really great things of having a stringer for this as opposed to using the rod. I'm going to be able to manipulate a lot more of how much of the glass I want to put on and leave off. I'll have more control. All right, so I have the top torso done. I'm going to take this off now, uh, and then I'm going to attach the the legs. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. So on the female form, I'm going to do it one way, and on the male form, I'll do it another, and that way you guys can see kind of some different ways that you can sculpt. So I'm going to heat up another gather, and this is tiny, you know, much smaller than I normally work. And I'm going to take my shears and cut right down the center. And once I have that cut down the center, you can see that it's already starting to make, you know, what look like legs. And now I'm going to heat that up and just stretch it down a little bit so it makes uh, kind of a triangle, like an upside down triangle shape. All right, just kind of looking at the form and not stretching it too much trying to get that angle correct all right once I have that on and the legs pretty much made in the right shape I can add a little bit of extra glass for some details and make sure that I get this in exactly the right shape that I want all right so just heat this up get everything together you can put on some little details with your tungsten uh, lines and creases you know uh, where you where you'd like shaping everything getting it back in place all right and then you can use the tip of your your reamer or, or tool to make a little belly button if you want I like to do the little details cool so here we go we have our female figure and I'm gonna pop this in the kiln and we'll hold on to this for a second and then now we'll make the male figure All right, so this is that glass alchemy ketchup color. I really like this color because it's a nice deep red, but it's a little bit thinner uh, as far as like less dense, I guess, than maybe some of the other other reds. And so it's not great for pulling stringers in a vac stack like some reds, but it is really great for sculpting because it stays uh, less bubbly, a lot less bubbly. All right, so we're gonna make basically the same steps. Um, this time, we're gonna make that uh, torso shape, the triangle shape again. We'll pull it out with our tweezers or with the glass, and then this time, I'm gonna flatten it as well. All right, so I really like this Marver that is like kinda under, under my bench a little bit. I got that from Blast Shield years and years ago. All right, so I'm gonna grab it with the, the mashers here, and you can see that I still have that triangle shape, and I'm gonna grab with the tweezers and pull out. All right, grabbing the shoulder and pulling out a little bit, and you can see on the left-hand side of your screen that I'm shaping the torso. Same thing with uh, the female form. I'm pushing in the collarbone, and that is sticking the neck part out a little bit and now I'm going to pull that stringer down and that way it gives me some control over the size of the head all right here we go adding the neck a little bit more for the neck and I'll let that cool just a little bit and now I can start adding all the glass that I want for the head you can kind of see it melting on I'm gauging the size and as it's melting back, it's becoming proportional to the torso. All right. So I'm gonna attach a punny here, and this is gonna allow me uh, to transfer the glass from, from one part to the other. And so it's just stuck on there. And now I'm going to grab some more glass and use it for the bottom, for the legs. So I'm going to heat this up and attach these two. And when I heat them up, they just melt together. They flow one into the other. 
and I'm going to heat this up and then basically do the same things with my shears, but this time cut all the way through. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys gave as gifts for Valentine's Day or maybe what you received in a past Valentine's Day. What was the best Valentine's Day present someone ever did for you? All right, so you see that I did the same thing with the shears is I cut that all the way through. Well, I, you know, I, I cut it, but this time I cut it all the way through. And this way you can move the legs around independently and put them in any position that you'd like to. Um, it's great if you can get motion with this, you guys, as you're sculpting and you're putting these sculptures together. If you can create movement and motion in your work, it's uh, really appealing to the eye. So keep that in mind uh, when you're sculpting different stuff. All right, so now I'm just heating each leg individually and pulling them down, stretching them out, making sure that they're the right shape. All right, so I'm going to heat this up and they came together a little bit in the center. So I'm going to cut that all the way through and then go back in and fire polish it. Okay, so I'm going to pull the legs out to they're the right size that I'd like. All right, so I'm going to heat these up and pull them to pull them out independently. And then I'm going to be able to uh, attach a bridge. I'm going to need some some bridging going on uh, with this piece because, you know, I want them to be loose inside of each other's arms. So there's movement uh, and be independent uh, so they're not attached to each other. So that's going to require some bridging bridging to do so that that should be fun. When I first started learning about bridging, I thought, oh man, that's that's totally unnecessary. I can I can make this seal without a bridge. And you know, the more I I, <laughs> I realized how important it was, the more it became part of my work. And uh, it's I think it's really important to to use the tools and the ideas that you have in front of you. And some people ask, well, why don't, why do I not use you know the same tool that's on your bench? And uh, I, I think that the, the reason is that you want to use what you're the most comfortable with. And I like to teach and show you guys what I use in my studio, the real way that I do it. I've always liked that. And uh, I don't want to dumb it down or use a different tool unless there's a specific purpose like a demonstration or the use of the tool. Uh, when I'm blowing glass to show you guys something, uh, I want to really really use use the tools and do it the way that I would do it if no one was watching you guys see the hat in the background I don't know if you've been a long time viewer for years and years you know that's a super famous hat from these videos <laughs> come make a comment in the in the video if you remember that hat from from previous old school videos all right so I'm getting each piece I have the bridge around the the male piece so I have him you know secure and now I'm going to build a little piece for that female one to attach to, which I'll remove later after I build their arms. All right, so I heat up both and then I attach them in the position that I'd like. And this is a little tricky now because, you know, it's a very thin seal and I'm going to need to put some torque on here to move this around and uh, attach that as well. All right, I'll try to give you guys a couple of views here. Uh, so you can see on the top right, I'm moving the glass around to attach the second bridge. And so I'm building like a whole structure to hold these things together with three millimeter rod or so. Um, and I get, that's an important lesson that you guys can use for totally tons of different other pieces is really creating a complex bridge so that you can put the pieces exactly where you want. Uh, to put them back together all right put that in the kiln this goes in the kiln a bunch even though they're they're tiny uh you know i just need to put it put it in and out as i'm as i'm working on it okay now we're going to start to attach the arms and this is just some of the leftover stringer that i had and you want to go back in super gently super carefully and bring that around and then it, attach it but don't don't stick it to the other figure and don't get it too hot because we really want to leave this piece being kinetic and having a lot of movement 
So I'm gonna just keep slowly wrapping this around and not sticking it to anything that I don't want it to stick to. Um, you can see it's just, even though my flame is up pretty high for this little piece, I'm, I'm just brushing it in. I'm not, not holding it in for very long. All right, so now I have the arm pretty much close to where I want it to be. And I'm gonna go in with my mini torch and make sure that's a good and complete seal. And the good thing is once you have one of those sealed on, it's, it's actually gonna hold up the other side in place. So all these little components and things that we're adding, it's making it more and more structurally sound. So now we're gonna put the, the red arms around and that goes down the side. And then we're gonna do the same thing and bring that back around. All right. I so appreciate you guys watching these videos, you know, even after so many years, there's still tons of fun projects to make. And you guys have been such great, great audience, um, which I really appreciated. So now uh, that came off. That's, that's what's going to happen when you blow glass sometimes. So the arm came off and I'm going to just take it off because I know it's about the right size and I'm going to attach it where I think it goes and then work it from there. So, you know, a lot of different methodologies, but basically when you, when you are blowing glass, it's really not about what you can make. It's about what you can fix. It's about how you can handle something that's, that's not going the way that you want and how you can adjust in the moment. Well, you know, a lot of, a lot of things that you do could, could, could use those skills. <laughs> All right. So I'm just bringing the arm around, wrapping it around. And uh, I'm going to start to attach it on the other side, which is going to, to lock it in place. And then I'll be able to, to go in with my mini torch. It's a cute idea. And this, this, this is maybe something you can make for a friend of yours. It doesn't really take too much time. I probably spent about an hour and 20 minutes or something on this piece totally. Uh, so it's a good gift. And I just really want to share with you guys something. Uh, unusual and different you know different than what we usually make so you could practice a new skill and give somebody that you care about a gift so i'm going in with the torch melting it in melting in each side of it and making sure that it's nice and um connected everywhere okay here we go now i'm going to remove Remove my bridge. Let's hope that these are loose and that this this is uh, a piece that's gonna work. So I'm just removing the bridge and there we go, it comes off. They're still being held on top, so I won't really know uh, if, it's, if it's working yet, but once I take it off here, I'll be able to feel it. So I'm just picking off any extra, extra clear glass that was left on from the bridge. And now I'm going to attach a punty just so I have something to hold on to. That's a nice clean seal, easy for me to take off later while I remove the final bridge punty. And this, this, when this cools, you can see uh, the red is going to get a little bit brighter because, because it's hot right now. It's, it becomes a little darker, a little browner. All right, let me remove this excess clear from on top of her head. And I can feel it moving around a little bit as I'm pulling this off. It's definitely loose. You can see it rocking around a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to grab a little bit uh, of the leftover, you know, stringer stuff that's on the end of the rod here. And I'm going to make the loop so that I can make this into a pendant to give to my friend. Here we go. I'm going to heat this up and wrap that around and then make a little loop. All right, so I'll heat that up, wrap it around, bring it down, and then it'll be a nice size to, to attach a, a string through it, make a string through it. You know, the funny thing about this pendant is I was looking, you know, I saw something like this on my Instagram feed. I was like, oh, that's a really cool idea. You know, like this hug pendant, you know, it was in metal and uh, and then I was thinking about the video. What video am I going to make for Valentine's Day? I was like, oh, that's perfect. I, I love that little thing. I bet I could make that in glass. 
so I'm, I'm in here's the thing and you know a couple days ago my dad who many of you guys know is a, a goldsmith a metalsmith he texted me the picture of this thing he's like hey guess guess what i'm making i was like oh man that's crazy man i'm about to make this for a youtube video so anyway i thought i'd share that with you guys too this piece is cool it's inspiring a lot of people like it little hug pendant i'm grabbing it with some of that uh kevlar pad there and i'll remove it gotta be careful not to burn the pad but it's okay just get any extra extra clear off of there and then we have a completed pendant cool i'll get that all finished up and show you guys oh careful of that all right then i'll remove the, the little bit of clear left on here but you got gotta hold it real real carefully in here but there we go put that in the kiln all right here you guys go here's the final hug pendant uh, you can see the different colors the ketchup from glass alchemy and of course the pink cadillac i really like the way this moves around and it's kinetic and uh if you guys make one please tag me i would love to see it at revere glass uh on instagram uh or in the youtube video comment on it and let me know what you think thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next week with a super special video bye